What's going on, everybody? Got a new course play tonight, LL Stubb Stewart Park out in Oregon. Really tough wooded course, played with my buddy Sam. So I'm going to talk you through this as much as I can based on how I remember it. Uh, hole one was in B, 254 feet, kind of typical of all these holes. Sammy throws and sneaks through the gap. Oh, you missed it. Puts him nice that approach really uh, from there. Before that, it's not down the hill. I didn't. Uh, didn't have much to go with, so I threw this kind of cruddy anti-flex that hit a tree, ended up uh, left of the fairway in the junk. I tugged my A3, hit a tree, and ended up kicking back onto the other side of the trail. Uh, Sammy had a much easier approach here, just setting it down right by the basket. So this is for my bogey, I believe. And I just lofted it and didn't really give it a shot. I went past the basket. So Sam tapped in for par, thought about turboing it, but didn't. And then I tapped in for my bogey. Hole two, we didn't know where this hole was. First time playing through, so we had to walk it a bit. Uh, Sam got his shot up pretty close. He got up in the tree a little bit, and then we figured it really it was as short as it said it was, or maybe just a little bit longer. We weren't sure. Through my MD, got tree, tree, yeah. ground. Yeah. By approach, again, I misjudged it. You can hear me rooting for it to sit down, hit that tree and went past the basket. Uh, almost missed Sam. He plays really fast, so I'm going to miss Dang. some of his approaches and, and stuff like that. So I was left with like 40 plus here, maybe. Uh, nice. Yeah, that one felt good. Haven't been putting great lately, too. So uh, this hole sucks. Three, uh, it's got to be longer than 375. You can't really see it, but Sammy's down the trail spotting for me there. You just saw him wave. Clunk. Um, left is a steep hill and, and some death uh, if you get past these trees. Oh, God. <laughs> Sammy ends up over there. My second oh, shot. No. Yeah, you hear me go, oh, no. I just rolled that. Uh, Sam was smart and just laid up out of there. You can see there's just nothing to work with here. <laughs> He's having a rough time here, hitting a lot of trees with his shots. Uh, kicked off to the right. And while I was doing this, he played again. Uh, I had a decent looking approach here, except I hit a tree on the way up. Um, this, you can just see this hole eating us alive. This is a tactic forehand that came out okay, but it was left a target. Uh, that's Sam making his bogey or double bogey, I believe. And this is me for, I don't know, a million. Um, I had almost nothing. You can really see it. And I eventually just kind of went with the comedy scoob option and I didn't get it to turn around. And I'm glad that hole was over. Hole four, uh, 237, it was in the short. It's downhill, uh, and you know, typical of stub, it's just a bazillion trees. Uh, Sam got his on hyzer a little bit and just ended up way off to my the left there. Left. Um, I tried to throw my D-line MD, something more flippy, and flipped right into that first tree. I hit every tree. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, left me the standstill link, hit a branch there that actually knocked me down right down by the basket, which was really fortunate. And then Sam had this really beautiful spin putt up to wow, was set up his par. So finally we got ourselves a par frame. Which frankly feels like a win on some of these holes, man. This, there's so many trees, so much to go wrong. Uh, we're in the long on, on five here. Uh, stop me if you've heard this, but it's a kind of a long winding hole through the woods. We, we actually threw a couple shots each. And, and my second shot was a lot better than my first one here. I tried to go with my uh, essence and force it down there. And instead I just ripped it right into this tree here. My MD ended up down by the basket. So that was a much better option, but live and learn. Um, <clears throat> really bad camera angle of my shot. Here's Sam's second. Throws this beautiful little Annie that ends up sitting right down by the basket. Uh, I, on the other hand, am throwing my third from kind of way off here. I'm probably 40 feet away. I didn't frame this very well, but uh, had a window. Got the putt there and just didn't get it up enough and then missed the second. So it was meant to be. Hole six, uh, it's in the longer of the two, 250 feet, but it's way uphill there. You can see it. Uh, Sam's got a really good forehand and uh, whipped this one up there oh, quite wow. a bit. Get in the basket. And I actually thought I had a chance because I can't read distance very well. So there you go. I threw the essence again, and I was just happy to be up on the hill and not off to the side somewhere. Left me a you know, really hard putt, but um, I was able to get up on the green to save my par. And Sam oh, just missed fuck. his... Would have been well-earned birdie. Hole seven, 
It's in the short, 319 feet with a bunch of elevation drop. It's off to the right here, um, right side of the fairway, I guess. Uh, we both stood here deliberating what to do on this and walking the fairway. Sam has the right idea and he just misses. Um, he threw a second shot that was absolutely parked, another forehand, and I just woofed this. Hit that branch, took everything off it, and I kicked way left across the path down the hill. And then Sam throws this beautiful Push. flex up shot to save his par. Oh, uh, I am way down the hill. Again, couldn't really get a good camera angle, and I tugged this quite a bit. Luckily, it came back. It was my A3, but I still ended up way long in the basket off in the schnarb here. Decided why not try and run it, right? All right, that's why. But luckily I made that. Hole 8, 183 feet, uh, uphill a little bit. <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> you made it further than I did. Yeah, we were having some fun, <laughs> trying to trying to keep it light with all these trees. And we, we both went to combine about 50 feet there. Uh... Sam yet again with the smart layup, and me yet again not being smart and hitting some trees with a yank. And then Sam got really unlucky here. He caught a ghost little branch there and just oh, no. ran down the hill, and luckily it Stop. stopped. And I decided to try an anti putt with my DMD here and just woofed it and ended up getting the roll I deserved. Uh, you can see it kind of roll off the edge there, and it stopped. Sam had a pretty good back up to save his bogey, and I had an actually really tough putt here. My my upper foot was way higher than the other one, and I was actually pretty happy to knock in that 25-footer uphill off a log. Nines in the shorter A position. Uh, I actually walked up and watched Sam drift this and just lost my mind and thought it was longer than it was, so I grabbed my MD here and just airmail it straight over the basket. And here is kind of begging it to slow down. It was just way long. I have no idea what I was thinking there. Excellent up by Sam for a tap in. And I had this birdie putt from a mile away and just wasn't really even close. But I'll take a par there. It could have been a lot worse on my MD shot because there was a hill there. Hole 10. Relentless course here. Uh, you can see the basket straight up there. This one's a little bit uphill. Should just be a nice little uh, flex or... Uh, at least a turnover shot that drifts in there, and I just woofed it. And Sammy, unfortunately, just right in the ground. Did not work out for him at all. And I've got left this shot from the firm with no real angle, throw my Glow FD3 up, and actually almost dunked it. Sam said it missed by a couple feet. Was really happy with that shot, and you can see this little slope here, so I was glad it kind of spiked in and sat down. One of my better shots of the entire day. Hole 11 is in A, 360 feet downhill and to the left. Another hole we kind of super misjudged distance-wise. It just looks so much longer uh, than it actually is. Sam got up in the treacherous little branches there. Uh, I decided to throw a putter here, which is probably uh, the right play, and I got real lucky. I go through here playing Plinko, ticking off all these little branches, and I finished, well... A lot better than Sam did. He he had a nice little approach here that got an unlucky oh, roll down really the hill. Good. I was left maybe 30 feet here for my first birdie of the day. And I canned it. Sam, unfortunately, did not and ended up taking a bogey on this hole. 12, 368 feet downhill again. Uh, this is a really hard hole. It's hard to see kind of where the fairway is here, but you know, so many of these holes, there there oh, is a fairway oh, that, that so you know they prescribe, but you can't actually get there. You see me, I threw a, a really good shot there that just didn't quite make it through. Uh, Sam got a lot more luck with his, except that he went straight long and ended up in some some thicker stuff. Uh, I had a pretty clear shot out of here through my. MD again and just turn it right over off into space there. You can see Sam here throwing from up on the hill and my distance blur cam trying to follow him. Dang. He hit a tree and dropped. Tried to throw again, went across the fairway there into the junk. I was left with a really tight forehand up against this tree and didn't get it quite as far left as I wanted to, which left me kind of close to Sam here as, as far as being in circle two trying to, to reach up and give myself something and I really hoof this 
really poorly off to the right side there, but once I got up there, I realized I was only a few feet away. 13, 250 feet in the short. Again, uh, another one with a fairway that curls, but you can see the basket, or actually you can't even see the basket. It's on the other side of that mound on the left there. Um, I was just trying to push it up there. We, we didn't really know where the basket was here. We walked up and it still was, you know, not sure how far distance wise it is and everything. Uh, Sam yet again gets his down a little bit and gets a pretty rough kick off to the side, but his upshot is outstanding right over the hill and it just tucked right up against the basket. Uh, I had this tougher little approach here. I uh, went with my A3 and my brilliant forehand and it actually looked all right up until that tree, um, but that just left me this little hoof over the hill and then I didn't really record our tap-ins. I think we just walked up and threw in. 14 is in the long here, 457 feet, uh, par four. You know, you can you can see here there's a, a clear kind of anti-flex forehand line down there that makes the most sense with all the trees. Uh, neither me or Sam have that much luck. It's going to be so good. <laughs> it's going to so be short. so oh. good. It's so short. And I was right. It was quite a bit short. And I am the worst at patent pendings, and I do what I always do and just whip it off to the left. I don't, I don't get the proper reach back and turn. So I made a bad situation worse. Um, Sam had a good looking gator flex there that just caught the edge of the tree. I decide, hey, I'm going to throw a forehand roller here. No, I can't lose that. Off to the right there is like the most legit drop off. So Sam ended up down there and right behind him there, it just, it's steep and goes to nowhere. So you'll see I rolled and got lucky. I'm off awesome. up uh, ahead of him a little bit, but same thing. We were both like four feet from the edge of this actual cliff and, care. you know, very easily could have been in some trouble and and lost our discs and got lucky and and had safe ways to climb down and throw out of there um sam had a pretty good up uh, i didn't show where his was but he ended up making his putt afterwards and i just played around and around and around until i got it in the basket hole 15 is in a 243 feet kind of up the hill here you can see it off to the right a little bit there sam has a really good looking well, forehand there suck. I decide to try and match with my essence and a typical form, turn it right over and off into the bushes. Um, oh, Sam had a nice putt Sam. here for birdie and just airballed. Not great. Uh, I had this look from off to the side there. Uh, realistically could have made it, but it was a pretty long little run and I ticked that branch and that took away any chance of that one uh, fading into the basket. 16, position B, 574, way up the hill there. Um, both of us kind of felt like this was a spray and pray hole. Oh, push. Uh, push. Sam threw his ion or atom or whatever the heck that thing is. It's a putter. Oh, uh, made the safe play right out into the fairway. I decided to throw my FD and make a little more aggressive play. Um, and unfortunately, I just missed left, got the left side of that branch, and got the hard kick off into nowhere. And then my A3 up, ripped into the tree. Try the A3 again. That actually was pretty good. You can kind of see it uh, ride over and end up right near the fairway or off the fairway. So we're now just now to Sam's tee shot, which he unfortunately rips off to the left there. The fairway kind of goes straight in that picture. I'm in Nowheresville still and hit another tree. And then this forehand here hits this branch right there and just falls out of the sky right, right over the fairway. So here's Sam's third i believe and he has one more that i didn't film I while i was off here in narnia trying to film my 80 second it. shot of this hole even my little jump putt ends up failing here just uh, one of those holes where everything goes wrong and i was giving him some crap there but he still got a bogey on it he was not real happy and uh, i had i don't know what did i have 13 on this hole nine five eight gross 17 in the home stretch, 254 feet a bit downhill. It's a pretty sharp hyzer shot off to the left. I think it's more than 254, that's for sure. Sam threw a mid and, and ended up quite a bit left. I threw my FD3 here, and you can't really see it, but I, I hit the line I tried to hit, and it just faded off a lot farther up than Sam's was, but um, I still didn't have a great look. Uh, you'll see here I had to straddle out, and that's like 35, 40 feet, and I just was short quite a bit, left me a pretty easy par, which on this course I'll take any time. So 18, a beautiful finishing hole, 354 feet. Uh, you start up high, drop into the valley, and then the basket's way up there on the cliff. Sam was really close to a beautiful shot and just didn't quite get there. I pulled out my MD4 here. 
uh, just trying to hit the fairway and I put a little too much hyzer on it and it doesn't touch anything and just drifts and drifts and drifts and drifts. Sam still struggling a bit here, hits a tree off to the right. We're pretty damn tired at this point. This is a long course, and we were trying to beat the sun going down there. My link question, Joel. tugged it a bit, as I often do with my standstills, ended up off to the right. And Sam continues to ride the struggle bus. Gives his one a run just because why not, and ends up kind of paying the price for it. He got lucky and didn't get much roll away, and then bricks that too. Just a rough end of the round for uh, a guy who's a lot better than he made those last couple holes look. Wow. I got a lucky little run through on this Neil putt and then finished my round there at that plus 15. I think I stayed and uh, Sam had a, a rough second half to get up to 11. Stubbs a tough course. We had a lot of fun though. First time playing it. Feel pretty good going back. Thanks for watching.